Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus channel. If you're new here and you want to learn a lot about cool specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates, definitely consider subscribing down below and then dinging the notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my videos. Alright guys, today's video. You saw the title, you're probably thinking, what's going on? Are they having babies? Like, I don't... I don't get this. Well, the Shinisaurus are actually really challenging animals to sex properly. Yes, there are a few methods such as color variants, you know, so there's, there's some sexual dimorphism in the colors between the animals, males and female. Also, the width of the head, the males tend to have a bit of a broader or wider head. But these things are only so accurate, especially the color. I mean, I've seen people post photos of some pretty vibrantly colored females, so I don't think that that's an accurate method. So what I want to do today is take the Shinisaurus to Dr. Brown and have a visit there. He's going to examine the animals and perform an ultrasound on all three of them. What we're hoping for there is that he might be able to detect follicles in females or hempines in the males so that we can confirm that the animals are the 1.2 that we presume they are. One male, two females, for those of you wondering how that works. So, let's go ahead, round up these animals. It's not gonna be fun, I'm not gonna lie. They get spooked and dive into the water and disappear. So we have some time here. I have the containers that they arrived in. I'm gonna try and coax them out with some super worms. I'm hoping this is gonna go well because when they're not happy and they don't wanna be messed with, either they escape, if they can't, they gape. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but destiny works in funny ways. So yeah, for today's question of the day, I want to ask you guys, have you ever had an animal in your home that was just incredibly challenging to sex? Uh, you know, maybe for example, you thought it was male for the longest time and it ended up being female. I've had this happen. My bearded dragon Kovu, rest in peace, who was my first pet reptile, well, I thought she was a male for about a year. And then it turned out that she was female. So, well, it didn't turn out she was female. She was female the whole time, I was just dumb. So yeah, let me know if you guys have ever experienced something similar in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a bit of a conversation. Awesome. All right guys, let's do this. So I have a container here. I'm gonna hope this first animal that's right there doesn't just swim away and hide. All the fish think they're being fed, which they are not. Okay. This better work, or this is going to be a very painful process. Oh, hello. Will you come with me? Possibly. Come on. You're okay. Right in here. That's all you got to do. That's right there for you on the bottom. Go for it. Ah, oh, they're too smart. Come on. Okay guys, we got one. Let's get the other two. I didn't even realize that they're both out. One and two. This is really a blessing because they're normally taken away. Come on friend, are you gonna come out? Oh wow, okay. Just right in there if you will. I might have screwed this up. I'm gonna do my best. Okay. So there we have a presumed female. Again, the color does not tell you. And this animal's head is very narrow, so it could very well be female. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, the last Shinisaurus is right there. So hopefully we can get them to climb up that branch and feed. Hello. Will you join us up here? Yes, thank you. Up, up. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh no. 
Oh yes, okay. And there we go. And somehow, I think I made this out to be way worse than I thought it was gonna be. This might be the male, I don't know. I'm telling you, I think that there are two males and one female if I had to guess. So if that's the case, we're gonna also have to separate one. Oh yeah, there they are. So now it's time to head over to Campus Estates Animal Hospital for their ultrasound with Dr. Brown. So I've just kind of packed them in here so that it's a bit more secure and they're not seeing everything around them. I mean, I guess this guy can see above, but should be a little less stressful. All right, guys, we've just arrived and uh, time to get the mask on. The first thing we do is call the office, let them know we're here and then drop the animals off. Now, COVID procedure, you have to just put your animals on the table there and then an associate will come out and bring them inside for their appointment. For the safety of the staff, pet owners are still not allowed to enter the building. So I'm just gonna have to wait and uh, see how things go. Okay, so the animals have been delivered. Now we will just wait patiently until the appointment is up. Going? Now I'm going. Okay, we're looking at the first lizard and I think we found some follicles. Are you able to pause the screen? Mm -hmm. I think this is what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That looks like a bunch of follicles. Yeah. So these three little circles. This is number two. Lots of liver in there. I don't see any problems. I think this is a male. Yeah, very clearly different than the first one. Lots of little black spots in there, but that's just liquid in the GI tract. There's a gallbladder surrounded by liver. Wonderful. Put on an ultrasound gel, just like in humans. And some alcohol. This is our third one. I'm hoping female. Could be. I'm getting some tiny little circles in there. Right in the center of the screen. Much smaller than the other lizard. Maybe we'll just pause there. Maybe we'll just pause on the stem. So all these little circles. We're gonna say I zoomed in on the area. So this circle here, we're not sure the There's three in a row, you can see pretty well. So I think this is female. I think those are three very obvious, pretty large eggs. Yeah. 
Okay guys, so we've just got back and as you can see from the footage, uh, the animals had the gel put on their stomachs to facilitate with the lubrication for the ultrasound, as well as a bit of alcohol. Now naturally, it might not cross one's mind immediately that these animals are going back into a paludarium and I'm not sure if they've been rinsed off or not can't have that going into the water with all the fish. So I've disinfected my sink. Obviously I'm gonna disinfect it again afterwards, but we're gonna gently rinse off the Shinisaurus before placing them back into the paludarium. So let's do that now. Now I really don't like the idea of stressing them any more than necessary, but we do really have to make sure that they're wiped off. So make sure the water kinda lukewarm. Yeah, they're still not quite clean. I can feel it on the... This is usually one of the ones that doesn't mind being handled too much. The other ones, whole other story. But you just want to gently get that gel off the body. Okay, I'm gonna gently place her back. Please be nice. I promise I won't hurt you. Yeah, you can feel the gel all over the animal. So I have my thumb on the head and my index finger on the breast so the animal doesn't have the opportunity to swing around and bite me because that would really suck. This is how you can restrain a lizard in such a way that does not allow them to not only get away but uh, bite you. Not a very happy camper. It would have been a huge mistake to just put these animals back in the enclosure, honestly. I'm worried my fish would have probably died. A lot of, oh, 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 you're okay, you're okay. A lot of uh, lubricant and stuff on them. Okay, buddy. What worries me about doing this is they're so slippery. I don't want them to get out of my grip and bite me because like, man, that is not the mouth of an animal I want to be bit by. There are some good teeth on this critter, so. Anyways, make sure the water is a good temperature, and here we go. You're okay. Like, obviously, that's gonna really make them unhappy because I'm literally, like, messing with his legs and such. But we have to make sure... Oh, oh you're okay, you're okay. You're okay, over here. You're okay have to make sure that there's no alcohol left on the animal's body. You're all right, you're all right. Perfect, now we're gonna put everybody back in the paludarium. All right guys, so we're gonna put the Shinisaurus back into the enclosure. This is the male, good sir. I don't wanna disturb you. Go home, friend. There you go. This is no need to handle the animal. We'll just kind of go. They know what they're doing. Female. Go ahead, beautiful. Go ahead. You're good. You're home. You know where that is. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Literally, the male just went back to his hideout. That's hilarious. He knows where he is. There we go. She went underwater. She feels safe. And the last female. Shinisaurus. Go on, girl. There you go. Good girl. Would you like a super worm? Well friends, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. What? Thank you so much to Dr. Brown and the vet technicians that made filming and learning about this process possible. You went above and beyond and I'm so grateful as always. Thank you to Campus Estates Animal Hospital. I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. Also, don't forget to give me a follow on these other social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. If you'd like to support this channel, definitely feel free to check out the link down below in the description where you have the opportunity to become one of my exclusive patrons. Wishing you all a wonderful week, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. See you on Friday.